Apple TV Plus S before episodes 1 and 2 set up the storyline while revealing many fundamental details that could become important in future episodes. With Billy Crystal at the forefront, the cast of Before was bound to bring in many viewers. It certainly doesn't hurt either that the show debuted just one week before Halloween, the perfect time of year for any thriller or horror. Unsurprisingly, the show jumped to number 6 on Apple TV Plus S TV show list within the first 24 hours. The synopsis explains that a child psychologist named Eli is mourning the loss of his wife when he meets a troubled child named Noah, who has a mysterious connection to him. Leading up to the release of the first two episodes, Apple TV Plus kept all other details about the characters and show highly secretive. Episodes 1 and 2 of Before raise many questions about the mystery at the center of the psychological thriller while providing basic information about the characters and their backgrounds. The episodes reveals are enough to keep viewers coming back week after week. 8. Eli has a recurring nightmare where he jumps into an empty pool but doesn't die. Eli's recurring nightmare could point to his mental state in Apple TV Plus S before. The first scene in the entire series is an injured man with a broken ankle dragging himself out of an empty pool, limping to the diving board, and stepping off into the bloodied empty pool again. This is one of the most shocking and horror-esque scenes in the first two episodes. When Billy Crystal's Eli jolts awake, it's clear the sequence was a nightmare. This doesn't change how alarming the scene is. Rather than a one-off incident, though, the man has the same dream by the end of the first episode, showing it from a slightly different angle. This time, an unintelligible figure who looks slightly like his wife pushes him off the diving board instead of him willingly stepping off. When the therapist brings it up, she points out that he never dies in the nightmares. It appears that his dream represents the loop of trauma that he's stuck in as he refuses to confront the loss of his wife. After all, he constantly avoids conversations about her and refuses to talk about his emotions about the event in therapy. Alternatively, since the nightmare relates to water, or the lack thereof, it could relate to Eli's mysterious connection with Noah. 7. Eli's wife Lynn died by suicide before the start of Apple TV Plus S before. Eli refuses to process and resolve his trauma related to his wife. Lynn stands in a house and puts her hand to her chin in Apple TV Plus S before. One of the sadder revelations in Apple TV Plus S before is the event that negatively impacted Eli's mental health and caused him to start grieving. While the marketing was very open about the fact that Eli lost his wife, it wasn't clear that she was dead, due to the term lost, which can also refer to divorce, or how she died, if that was the case. The show fills in these blanks quickly into before episode 1. Prior to the start of the show, Eli's wife, Lynn, died by suicide. It's unclear how long ago it happened, but Eli refuses to confront his grief about the tragedy. He won't speak about it in therapy, has seemingly distanced himself from everything in his life that reminds him of her, and refuses to go anywhere near the bathroom where it happened. Unfortunately, the grief manifests in other ways, like imagining her everywhere he goes and having anger outbursts. 6. Noah repeatedly shows up at Eli's house. Noah is drawn to Eli's house for an unknown reason. Eli hands Noah a glass of milk in Apple TV Plus S before. In Before Episode 1, Noah shows up outside of Eli's house, scratching strange markings outside his front door to the point of making his hand bleed. Initially, nobody else sees or responds to him, so it's unclear whether he is real or a spirit. The question about his corporeal form continues when he shows up in Eli's bedroom, watching him sleep. He doesn't speak either, making the situation more mysterious. However, the show confirms that Noah is a little boy and very much alive when he takes Eli to his foster home. Though Noah turns out to be real, the Apple TV Plus original show doesn't explain why exactly he started coming to Eli's home. The child psychologist asks Noah whether he knew the apartment or if it reminded him of somewhere. However, this is while the young boy is non-verbal, so he never receives an answer. The likelihood of before answering this question in a future episode seems high. 